Hello guys, this is AM and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about structures, mm -hmm. data structures. Many of you might be in these situations like creating timetable for upcoming exam or uh, standing in queue for uh, movie tickets. Now think about scenarios in computer scientist point of view. How would you implement that? You would need some set of rules to implement those. Like in queue, whoever comes first needs to get the movie ticket first. As a computer scientist, we need to perform operations on data. We need to perform three major operations like take the input, process it and give back to the user. Input can be in many forms. Taking the case of Google directions, you can give starting point and ending point as a destination. And in the case of Facebook login, you are given username and password and so on. And in the third step, output of the software application is given to the respective uh, displays or to another software. But the format is more or less dependent on the output destination rather than our own wish. Any computer scientist always strives to make his software more faster and more robust. As you can guess, the most we can optimize is the second step. Because first and third steps are not in our hands. The first step, the input is completely dependent on the API we are using. And in the third step, we have to send the data in the specific format that should be fetched by the destination system. So only in the second step, we have all the concepts of computer science like data structures and algorithms. Consider a scenario. Assume that you are a librarian. You are given a pile of books and asked to run the library. How would you do it? If a person comes and asks for a book, let's say he is asking for a book called The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. It is an awesome book by the way. Yes. So what would you do? You will search the book by alphabetical order because the, all the books are ordered in that way. But what if the librarian is clumsy? All the books are piled up on the table and if you want to search for a book obviously the time taken to search for a book will increase and it is not as efficient as organizing the library in short a data structure refers to the organization of data on our computers with the above example we can easily understand how important it is to organize the data in the real world a computer scientist actually deals with millions and millions of data sets in that case, we have to understand how the data is organized, but in a particular way and particular requirement. I said in a particular requirement specifically because it, it uh, like consider the same example. It doesn't make any sense for a librarian to order the books in alphabetically. If a customer comes and asks for a book, so let's say 10x by Grand Cordon. The, your, your books are organized in alphabetical order but the requirements are coming or the queries are coming in uh, numerically so we have to change the organization the brief of the example is you have to organize the data according to the requirement so naturally there are tons of data structures you can choose from consider that we want to implement control z action in your application how would we do that first let's brainstorm a new whenever new uh, when we are in first page the second when the second page comes we have to put the first page in some kind of a container and whenever the user goes to third page the current page the second page should be moved into the second and into the container and the, when when so suppose that user presses uh, control z on third page so what happens the the latest element that is went to the container should be retrieved back this sounds familiar this is the last element that is going in is coming out first LIFO yes the data structure that is implementing this is stack and it is a, one of the most used data structure in computer science and it's time for us to learn more about stack and implement stack and also dig deeper about stack in the next video and I'll see you in the next video Here we go.